Hey everybody, it's Jeff, Aromatics. How's everybody doing? Oh, I am under the weather. I called in to work last night. Just got the sniffles, got a cold, my head's pounding. Just feel weak. Just a cold or flu, I think. Nothing, nothing to be alarmed about, but just getting some rest. And then while I was here, I was just uh, putting away some tobacco. Yeah, I, sometimes I swap out what's on my shelf, like what I smoke with uh, what I have in my bulk bins. I have two bulk bins yeah two bulk bins and while I was going through here I thought why not do a video maybe some of you would be interested in uh, what's in there so I know I like to watch see what other people have stored away you know their their cellar so this is tobacco that I either have a lot of like bigger jars and I just have like smaller jars that I smoke or stuff that I don't smoke a lot and I put it away and then sometimes I'm in the mood to, to smoke it, so I'll take that out and put something else back in the bucket that I haven't been smoking. Anyway, so let's just start digging in and see what we got in here. So most of this is in jars. We'll just go through it, pretty simple. Right here, we got some Ryback. So this is a Daughters and Ryan tobacco. I think it's just a, actually I can't remember what it is. I think it's a dark fired and burly tobacco. So it's kind of average, it's okay. Sometimes I get in the mood for it, but yeah all right what do we got here this is like <laughs> i've got like a bunch of bags in one jar sometimes i do that so i don't have to get you know sometimes i just don't have smaller jars but one thing i have been trying to do lately and i got to catch up is it's not good to keep bulk tobacco in these plastic bags for a long time because uh, i heard they biodegrade over like not right away but it's just probably not a good idea so i want to eventually get little jars and just take these sample packets of tobacco and just jar them up so, what do we have in this jar? We got some, I've been looking for this one actually, some Sutliff J, J4 Burley. So there's just a bunch of Burleys in here. I think I've got Sutliff J4 Burley, I have Flying Dutchman, and some Sir Walter Raleigh. So these are just some, sometimes I just get some, you know, one or two ounces of stuff just to try it. And uh, I don't think I've given the, the Sutliff one a good try. So maybe if I haven't reviewed it, I will review that one at some point. All right, so in here we got some whiskey Cavendish, and I think I have some a little plastic bag of. Eh, anyway, it's, uh, Peter Stokeby's Highland whiskey that I got from somebody. I can't remember at the moment. So that's actually a pretty good aromatic uh, whiskey Cavendish. I did a review on that years ago. That empty jar here that used to have some Sobrani uh, 759 match and original match, but now I've jarred those up originally. All right, here's a bigger bulk one of some Havana Daydream. Havana Daydream, 2016. I've got a bunch of these because back in the day, this was one of my favorite blends. Although it's hasn't really kept its. Uh, I haven't really smoked it too much lately. Uh, so I've got some more burly blends which I have to individually jar up. So it looks like I've got some Peter Stokeby's Toasted Burley, Sutliff Burley Delight, some Newminster Light Burley, and C. Cornell and Deal's Cavendish Cut Burley. Well, if there's any of this stuff you want me to review sometime, let me know. So yeah, just a bunch of sample burlies in there. We've got some seersucker. That's probably just one tin of it. I have to review that someday. Uh, we got some Boswell's raspberry cream, which is really good, really good aromatic. Berry cobbler and black cordial. I think that's a Sutliff black cordial. We've got some Sutliff crumble cake Virginia. Mmm... This is just some cigar leaf that I should just dump out. Use that, I could use that jar actually. What we got here, some autumn evening. Like that a four ounce jar packed from 2019. Oh, we got some cinnamon delight and black spice. Some Sutliff. Ah, here's uh, smoking cardboard's favorite, exhausted rooster. Maybe I'll, I was smoking this last summer quite a bit and then I just put it away to smoke something else, but I'll probably dig it out again this summer. Oh, what do we got here? Some Gouth and Hogarth Glengarry Flake. I'm trying to remember. That one was okay. It was Virginia. Some Dragon Flake right here. Uh, that's pretty good. It's a good aromatic. Kind of a vanilla caramel type thing. Ve uh, a very full flavored aromatic. Oh, here's an old jar of stuff. Uh, I think I've got some um, McClellan's Black and Lemon, which was a really good aromatic. Christina liked it. Uh, fragrant Matured Cake from from McClellan's and some uh, McBaron's Vanilla Cream. So, yeah, those are some old, those are like some of the first stuff I ever bought back in the day. 
So, oh, here's some no some older stuff that I probably got in 2015 or 16. Uh, Gone Fishing and Mark Twain by Sutliff. Uh, Gone Fishing was like a, a PNC that came in tins. There was like, uh, yeah, I can't remember what. There was like four different tobaccos. They're aromatics. Gone Fishing is like a caramel, I think. It was pretty good. Just a black Cavendish. Some Mr. B, Mr. B's, yeah, Mr. B's vanilla maple. I think that's the same as Sutliff vanilla maple. Tastes the same to me. It bites, but it's it's okay. Uh, Sutliff uh, vapor, the crumble cake vapor. Obviously not a big fan. They're okay, but yeah. I have no idea what's in there. Another bigger jar, so some more autumn evening, 2018. I'm a big autumn evening guy. Probably my favorite aromatic. What else we got? Yep, more more autumn evening this is uh, i think this is from 2016 actually yeah i must have got that one from four noggins oh yes i've been this is one i wanted to get out this is a re one of the reasons i'm digging is uh king's dominican glory maduro match so this is like a match for mcclellan's dominican glory this is a really good it's a uh, what is it a Virginia Cavendish and a Virginia with, with red Virginia with some cigar leaf really good I wish there's more cigar leaf there's not that much in there ah some lane limited ll7 the old smack snap jar let's have a little sniff of it mm, caramel can't really smell that much because my nose is stuffed up all right what else we got some Peter Stokeby's sweet vanilla that's probably pretty old back when, when I was getting aromatics when I first started buying stuff all right another sample thing we got peach cobbler gouth and hogarth american peach and john rolf so all those are kind of peach peach brandy blends all right we got here we got some uh Chacombe number four which is a vapor i found it kind of bland to try it again borkham rift cherry <laughs> that's ancient but i like it actually it's a good cherry Ooh, smell yeah actually i might keep this one out one of the better cherries, I think, personally. Okay, we've got a mixed bag. This one's Peter Stokeby's Black Coffee and another coffee blend. Sutliff's... I can't see. Yeah, Sutliff Coffee. Nothing tastes like coffee. Um. Okay, so what else have we got here? Kendall number seven. It's a good blend. Um, what we got here? I have no idea what this is. No idea. I'll have to dig it, dig and see what that is. A couple of blends I just shoved in a jar. Bourbon Street, uh, Sutliff Bourbon Street. That's uh, just a nice burly, burly blend. It's got a nice topping on it. Plant a Full English. I got to do a review on that. I'll keep that out. That this is. Uh, it used to have the Cip not Cyprian Latakia, but the other Latakia in it. I, although I don't know if this they changed that over. I don't know if this was from 2019. So anyway, it's a English blend with a little bit of cigar leaf and some good Latakia supposedly. Uh, Sutliff vanilla maple, which is like Mr. B's vanilla maple. What else we got here? Some Country Lawyer, which is almost gone. I might have to buy another jar of that. I enjoyed it. Uh, Country Lawyer is a Briarworks blend. It's got some cigar leaf in it, some dark brown. Ooh, some creme brulee. This has got a good smell to it. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think I'll keep that out too. So some creme brulee I might smell like that. Timber. Uh, so we got some Dominican Glory Maduro, the actual stuff from McClellan's and some Key Largo. Keep that one out. That's another one I might want to smoke again soon. Some Cornell and Deal Burley Ribbon. I'm not a fan, but I think Smoking Cardboard. I think Steve likes this stuff, if I remember. Double Fantasy. That's another good one. This is uh, a mocha, like a coffee flavor, coffee and caramel. And it actually has a mocha taste to it. Not really coffee, but a, a strong mocha. I think it must have been McClellan's uh, Black Mocha. They they mixed with this because it, it has that taste to it. It's very unique. Uh, another mixed bag of stuff. I think this one's got some pumpkin spice, Christmas spice, and Hearth and Homes eggnog. Just probably like a half an ounce each. Whittled those away. English Oriental. I think that's either Peter Stokeby. Yeah, I think that's a Peter Stokeby blend. That was a good English. I haven't had that in years. But I remember it being pretty good. 
Another Habana Daydream from 2018. The Sniffles, Big and Burly, 2020, Cornell and Dew. Some Sutliff Stoved Virginia. So this was the, um, that red Virginia. Man, look how black that is. Oh, no, Stove Virginia. Yeah, so that's, I thought I stoved it, but no, that's, um, it's pretty good. It's, it's really mild, but sweet. It's just a, yeah, it doesn't smell like much. It's like a bright Virginia that they've stoved black. It's good to mix with stuff to lighten things up. Uh, Corn Island Deals Green River Vanilla, pretty bland. Wasn't a big fan of it. Some Grasmere Flake, uh, really good. I like the topping on it, but the tobacco is kind of lacking. Um, we got here Cornell and Deal Espresso. That one was one of the first ones I bought. Not a fan. It doesn't taste like espresso. I don't know what it tastes like, but not espresso. All right, another mixed one here. We got some Cherokee, which is an excellent uh, Canadian. Um, tobacco. Uh, it's vanilla. Thomas's blend, which is, I should do a review of that sometime. That's another good aromatic. And vanilla royale. All three good vanilla type type tobaccos. Um, black and gold maple, Cornell and Deal. Wasn't too bad, but there's a lot better maples now. Autumn evening being one of them. Some Lane 1Q. Everybody knows what that is. I don't really smoke it. I like the other, the other lane ones a little bit better. What do we got here? Crumble cake, uh, barrel aged crumble cake, bitey. Oh, that was that one of those salt lift tins. Not a fan. But maybe it'll age. Uh, oh, some Samuel Gaweth 1792 flake. So this stuff's got some major plume on it. You can't really see through the jar, but yeah, maybe I'll smoke some of that soon. Golden Days of Yore. I think I did a review of that. Eh, it's an average Christmas blend. A couple more left here, guys. Some uh, Peter Stokeby's Balkan Supreme. I should keep this out because it's a really, it's a classic English. I think a lot of people enjoy this one. Cheap, super cheap, super great. For the price, probably one of the best Englishes, like bulk, you can get. I think a lot of people would agree. I think I got this one from Everett. Yes, I did get it from Everett. Thank you very much, sir. And some Distinguished Gentlemen also got that from Everett. I have to do a review on these, so I'll hopefully get on that eventually soon uh some escudo and uh some drexel so a couple of vapors virginia preaks uh, both classics but more of a summer thing for me so i don't think i'll get those out yet and this is just a random jar i think uh, this was uh M mcclellan's vanilla black cavendish and some mint uh frosty mint so it's like a minty vanilla and that is it that's in my bulk bin so hope you guys uh enjoyed that looks like i'm running out of time on my phone uh, yeah, just thought you guys might find that interesting. And uh, that's it. Give me something to do while I'm uh, just sitting around the house sickly. All right, so I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves wherever you are, and I'll see you on my next video. Till then, Aromatics, signing out.